Hey everyone, I am Vibhav Khandalwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will discuss subset sum problem. We shall begin our session by discussing the problem statement. Then we will discuss the algorithmic solution to the subset sum problem. Finally, we will implement the solution to the subset sum problem in the code editor. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon below. So you never miss an update from Simply Learn's YouTube channel. So without any further ado, let's get started with the problem statement. We will be given a set of non-negative integers and a value of variable sum. And we must determine if there is a subset of given set with a sum equal to a given sum. Now let's discuss the algorithmic solution to the subset sum problem. First. We will create a 2D array of size ARR size plus 1 multiplied by target plus 1 for the type boolean. Next, the state dp i j will be true if there is ex there exists a subset of elements from a from 0 to i with a sum value equals to j. Let's look at the pseudo code. Here, if the current element has a value greater than the current sum value, we will copy the answer for previous cases and suppose the current sum value is greater than the ith element in that case we will see if any of the previous states have already experienced the sum equals to j or any previous states experience the value j minus a, a at the i value which solves our purpose we have now discussed problem statement and algorithmic solution to subset sum problem now Let's implement this solution in the code editor. We will start with the boolean function is subset sum, which will return true if there is a subset of set with the sum equal to the given sum. So, bool is subset sum and arr. comma int n comma int sum now the value of the subset subset ij will be true if there is a subset of set from 0 to j minus 1 with a sum equal to i so bool subset n plus 1 to sum plus 1 now if sum is equals to 0 then the answer will be true. So for and i equals to zero, i less than equals to n, i plus plus subset at i z i comma zero. is equals to true now if sub is not zero and set is empty then we will answer false so for and i equals to one i less than equals to sum i plus plus Now in this case, we will check at subset 0, 1, my equals to false. Now we will fill the subset table in bottom up manner. So for 
int i equals to 1 i less than equals to n and i plus plus we will add another for loop and j is equals to 1 j less than equals to sum j plus plus now if j is less than arr i minus 1 then subset i comma j will be equals to subset i minus 1 and j now if j is greater than equals to arr at i minus 1 then subset at i comma j will be equals to subset i minus 1 to j or subset i minus 1 to J minus A R R I minus one. Now we will return subset at n comma sum Now let's write the main block So we will create and set which will be equals to values like 3 comma 34 comma 4 comma 12 comma 5 comma 2 and so on and we will have to find a subset with a sum equals to sum equals to 9 now let's find the size of this set so int n equals to size of set divided by size of set at zeroth position now if is subset 
some with with arguments as set comma n comma sum is equals to true then c out found a subset with given sum else out no subset with given from is found basically if this is subset sum gives true then we will print the found a subset with given sum otherwise we will print no subset with given sum is found now let's try to execute this as you can see we are getting a found a subset with given sum which means we have found a set with the sum as 9 which is 4 comma 5. Now let's get back to our slides. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you like this session then like, share and subscribe. If you have any question then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Run. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.